We're back with the highest level jiu-jitsu you can find on YouTube today. Forget those channels like the B Team or Jordan Teaches Jiu-Jitsu giving you high level jiu-jitsu for free on YouTube when you could be watching somebody like Bass Salts Ben, who is always out there trying to work for your attention, your likes, and your comments while somewhat doing jiu-jitsu. Today we have the final video with Bass Salts Ben before he says goodbye to the channel and let's see how he does as he goes back to his roots, brings chaos to the match, and he takes on a wily competitor. The match starts with a new face to the channel as we have a fresh white belt going up against the king of basalts himself and they both start in the most dominant position you can in jujitsu. Knee wrestling. Now thankfully it doesn't last that long where they're trying to show us who's better off their knees and Ben decides he's going to stand up to initiate in the wrestling and uses this to bait a guard pole but he has no connection to his opponent's hips so the second he goes down his opponent is smart and extends his legs then walks around it and while Ben is still holding on to the collars he's attained side control. Now if you're like me, you want to smash your head for watching that guard retention, but Ben has a plan. He spins to his knees and he doesn't let his opponent get full hook control. Because of this, he's allowed to grab the head and he scoots his hips out and he gets on top. But then Ben decides he'd rather stay on his hip and keep attacking the head, so he loses everything he just worked for. But what's this? Ben's not done yet. He's rolling to his knees and he has a great bite over the tricep which allows him to push forward and he actually gets on top, monitors the hips, and he's going to be in a strong top side control position. Now Ben is a small dude, so trying to use his weight to maintain top control isn't his forte, and unfortunately this doesn't work for him as his opponent does a nice job pushing against the hips, but he pushes so hard that Ben folds like a lawn chair, and even though Ben is grabbing onto the single leg, it won't help him here. You don't want to grab the far leg because they can easily sprawl out and now your arm is isolated and in danger. The tables begin to turn as he starts to roll for the back, but Ben is doing a nice job trying to put his shoulders to the mat and creating hip separation. His opponent keeps pulling in the gi, but Ben is doing a better job of scrambling out of here, and he finally gets the luck that he needs as his opponent turns, looks for an armbar, and Ben ends up on top. Then Ben decides to flounder it as he goes for a guard pass by putting both hands on the knees. Now Ben is safe because this is low level jiu-jitsu, but that's where you get guillotined or triangled. Plus, it didn't get anything done and his opponent is doing a better job creating space and he gets on top for the front head. Even worse, Ben makes the same mistake by grabbing the front leg for the single and it doesn't do anything to help him defend his back. What's even crazier is Ben tries that same tricep roll again but his opponent has obviously adjusted, he keeps his hooks in, and he maintains a top, strong control, putting Ben in writhing agony. Here's a little tip for you guys. If you're in Ben's position their feet are that accessible, use one of your hands to grab their heel, flick that hook out of their control, and now you have a little bit of safety for the back instead of getting rolled over as we see with Ben. Now Ben is trying to do the right thing by keeping arm control so he doesn't get choked, but he extends his arms a little bit too much every time he tries that. Instead, he's about to give this wipeout the biggest accomplishment of his life by sinking in a rear naked choke. Now if Ben taps to a new wipeout, this isn't going to look good for anybody. So thankfully, he's able to find enough of an air pocket where he can push the hand off of his neck and he makes enough space where he doesn't have to worry about the choke anymore and he starts to set up his escape. Now I lose a little bit of my sanity every time I have to commentate with Ben having his back taken for the hundredth time. So thankfully, he helps me out by getting his shoulders to the mat and instead rolling into mount. While mount is still awful, I feel this is a much safer spot for him and for most people that do jiu-jitsu. And somehow he has the strength of God by putting his hand into the armpit from bottom mount and he uses this to roll over and reverse the position. Things start to get tense as Ben decides he needs a guard pass so he doesn't lose this round. He spent way too much time in bad positions against somebody so fresh to the sport so he starts lunging in with his head first and he gets into half guard but his opponent shrimps right back out into full guard. Things only get worse for Ben as his opponent goes for a scissor sweep and while the sweep didn't work it allowed him to get back on top in front head. He uses every ounce of his weight to sprawl out and clear Ben's hands and waste no time hitting a quick gator roll and trying to choke our hero out with the anaconda. But there's too much space in that technique and the gi is making it easier for Ben to escape and even though Ben isn't in a great spot, he isn't going to get choked out today. We see a wipeout version of a rolling back take and while he's close to getting the technique off, he can't quite get his bottom hook in. This is going to be the lucky card that Ben needs. Without that bottom hook, Ben can look for the reverse headlock and he uses just enough pressure by kicking off the mat that he ends up in top side control. And with the same dedication as an OnlyFans girl trying to convince the world that they work a real job, Ben goes back to his trusty sidekick, the top headlock. 
It gets a little dicey for Ben as his opponent is using a bridge and he tries to roll him over to the other side, but Ben has just enough momentum where he can stay in top control. And while the camera couldn't get to the other side fast enough, Ben was able to finish his opponent with a leg in Americana and saving his glory. Now there's only a little bit of time left, but his opponent isn't going to go out so easily. Ben isn't the best at gi wrestling as we can see here. And when Ben tries to tie up with him, he snaps him down into the mat, nearly breaking his nose, but Ben doesn't take any time to waste, going for his favorite fireman's carry to end up on top and not have his back taken for once. He monitors the hips, stays in top side control, and he gets to have his final video end in victory. Definitely a better performance by Ben compared to his last video, and it's great to see that he went for his favorite submission. But you know how you could be better jiu-jitsu? By getting gear from xmarshall.com. Ben represents the gear and so do I. They sell awesome jiu-jitsu gear such as rash guards, shorts, geese, anything else you could ask for. And by using promotion code TYLER10, you have a hefty discount on their website, which helps me and people like Ben so I can keep giving them gear.